a very good morning guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to discuss about the media agent installation we'll see what are the options that we get while performing the installation and the method that we will use for the installation will be the push installation okay so we have already discussed in uh, previous videos that there are two methods of installing the packages on any server that is a push installation and interactive installation in the push installation you can push the packages from the com serve directly to the servers there are the few prerequisite that you can check in my previous video uh, for the interactive installation you need to copy the software packages uh, locally on the server where you want to do the installation and then you move with the installation so right now we are going to see the media agent installation using the push installation method okay so guys generally what we do is like when we uh, uh, are doing the installation on the media agent on the media agent before that you need to size your media agent and when i say size you need to size it in the terms of ram cpu in terms of the disk requirement we'll discuss that topic of sizing the media agent in some other uh, uh, video but generally what happen is when you size a media agent media agent will be having generally three disk as per the best practices one c disk c drive for the os and where the comval package will be installed then you required one dedicated disk for the ddb that is deduplication and then you required a dedicated disk for the index there is a i drive that you required uh, a dedicated uh, uh, disk that you required for uh, holding the index the uh, disk sizing how much the, you required uh, what specification you required on these particular disk all these methods will be available like all these information will be available on the comal documentation but we will discuss that in uh, some other video now uh, with that we, along with these particular drive you can have some additional drive as well depending upon let's say you want to configure a disk library so there is a, 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 a you know let's say you have purchased an external sand storage like netap delhi mc or something so from there you can create multiple volumes and then you can zone them to your media agent where they appear as a local drive like a h drive or some additional other drives available so those additional drives will be visible that you are going to use for your uh, backup target as a as a, a, a mount path for your disk library so now once you have all these particular dedicated disk available guys now what you can do is you can log into your com serve and you can push the packages to that particular server so for that let's go to the com serve guys we'll go to the tools and guys we have already discussed the requirement prerequisite for the push installation in uh, uh, other video uh, whose link i'm gonna put in the uh, description you can check there now once you have all the prerequisite completed now what you can do is you can directly click on the install software uh, installation wizard will come up you will click on next now select the os that you have on your media agent it can be windows or unix or linux let's say in my case it's a windows uh, server that I have you will click on next how you will define the name of that server so I will define the name of that server manually the uh, the server on which you are going to install the media agent package so we'll click on next now over here you need to define the IP of that particular server or FQDN of that particular target server where you want to do the installation to which you want to do the push installation so right now uh, it, it, you can even do the push installation on multiple servers so you can even uh, uh, mention multiple FQDN but remember that per line there should be one uh, FQDN mentioned so if there is another IP that you need to mention so you can put the another IP in the another line uh, following line something like this but yes one line one FQDN or IP should be put now once you define that click on next now once you click on next define the username and password uh which has the permission okay to perform the installation on the target server okay you have to define the username and password which has the required permission to perform the installation on the server you will define the username and password and click on next now once you click on next in there you can select the media agent package uh or any other package as well along with that if you want to install so i will stick to the media agent package yes you might require file system and file system core packages in some cases if you want to back up from there but remember that even the ddb get backed up on the media agent 
for that it uses a file system and file system core packages which will by default get installed even if you don't select it it just when you don't select it the license will be released as soon as the installation get complete but it's a it's a kind of a basic package which will be still there will be used by the media agent for your ddb backups and all now click on next now once you click on next it is going to ask you few additional information like do you want to dis uh, uh, comval to disable the windows firewall on that server if it's been allowed uh if media agent asks for the reboot do you want to provide that permission to the reboot guys please remember that these are all things are optional okay i'm just selecting that but it totally depend like you don't want comval to disable the windows firewall on on the server you don't uh, select this option in the same way there are few more options available according to your requirement you click on next after that uh that's okay you just click on okay and move forward click on next now after that guys in the optional setting okay these are the information that you need to define the first is index cache to this folder guys we know that media agent is going to host the index cache on it we require a dedicated drive for the index sizing and all that we'll talk about later on so let's say you have figure out one dedicated uh, index on that server so you like a, one dedicated drive to host the index you have to define that location if you don't define anything in there by default index will be host on your installation directory but if you want to define some specific directory you can select this index cache to this folder and you can mention the specific path in there okay you can mention some specific path where you want to host the index so remember that whatever the dedicated drive that you have taken you should select that after that there is an option called install through this folder this will define the installation directory so by default guys installation directory will be c program files comvol folder but if you want to change that again you can select this option and you can define any path where you want to do the installation uh, which port will be used for the communication by default it will be 8400 but if you want that this server uh the media agent should use some other port for the communication then you can select that and you can modify that port as well after that override preferred ip family like uh, which like let's say uh, server the uh, the server on which you will install the packages have ipv4 and ipv6 both which ip uh, uh, you want should be used uh, by the comvol for the communication ipv4 ipv6 or any if you don't select anything it's by default ipv4 but if you want to use ipv6 specifically then you can mention that as well after that you have a option of comsub override uh you have the option of comsub override where you can define the name of your comsub to which this media agent will register guys generally we don't require to uh, specify anything in there it just this media agent on which you are doing the push installation will connect back to this comsub okay and try to register itself now in some cases uh let's say if you don't have a dns now when media agent will try to reach out to this server it will try to reach out using the fqdn so if it's uh, you know dns is not available might be create problem so you can select this option and mention the ip in there or even if you are using the concept of nat okay natting concept has been used some other ip has been used for the reaching to the comsub so in that case also you can select comsub override and you can mention the ip through which your comsub can be reached okay otherwise you can keep it blank if there is no specific scenario and say next now you can bypass this one network routing uh, configuration as if now click on next uh, do you want to start the installation immediately if yes select this option if you want to schedule it for later on you can click on schedule click on next and then it will it is going to show you a few uh, uh, summary of whatever you have uh, selected and just click on finish now once you click on finish you will see a job coming up in the job controller for installing the packages you can see install software job is coming up we'll wait for this one to get complete and then we'll move forward so uh, guys the installation has been completed you can see that installation got completed now if i go to the client computer and say refresh uh, I should even see the new server coming up or even if I go to the storage resources now you can see that in the storage resources under the media agent tab you can see the new media agent server coming up in there with the name media agent one this was a server on which we have done the installation okay you can right click and you can go to the properties and you can validate the few information if you want to like you can validate the info go to the catalog and validate the information of the index we did not modify that one like we change it like uh, so yeah uh 
so guys this is how you're gonna perform the media agent package installation thank you so much guys